Hello, techies. This is Miguelina Betty, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to share any program on StreamYard along with the audio. One of the problems with StreamYard is that when you share a program, it doesn't automatically share the audio or give you the option to do so. You can only share the audio if it's a Chrome tab or if it's the full window of your screen. I also wanted to give a special shout out to Barry Johnson because without his help, this solution would not be possible. He was actually with me in StreamYard for two hours while we were trying to figure it out. And he pointed me in the right direction to all of the programs and we were able to figure it out and able to bring this tutorial to you all. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel so you can go ahead and check him out and subscribe to him and send him all the thanks. All right, techies, so stay tuned for the tutorial. Files you will need. We will be using a combination of OBS and VB audio software to broadcast your desktop audio to the StreamYard program. This method will work with Windows PC users and Mac users, but not Linux users, because VB audio is not compatible with Linux software. I only have a Windows PC, so I cannot show you step by step how it works with Mac software. Follow the principles of this method, and it should work for you. I'll provide links to everything you need in the description of this tutorial. Let's begin by downloading and installing the OBS Studio at obsproject.com. I will choose Windows because that is the operating system I have. Click Save. After the file downloads to my computer, I open the program file. Click Next. Next and Install. After it finishes installing, I leave the Launch OBS Studio checkbox on and click Finish. When the OBS program opens, so should the Auto Configuration Wizard. Choose the radio button that says I will only be using the virtual camera and click Next. Click Apply Settings. Now close the OBS program. Now, let's install the VB Audio software by going to vb-audio.com forward slash cable. I choose the Windows version and click Save. I open the zip file and click Extract All. I make sure the checkbox is on for Show Extracted Files when complete and click on Extract. My Windows computer is a 64-bit operating system so I choose the Install file with the x64 at the end. If you have a 32-bit operating system, then you will select the setup file that doesn't have anything at the end. Right-click on the correct setup file and run as administrator. Click Install Driver and click OK. Now that both OBS and VB Audio are installed, it is essential to restart your computer. Configuring OBS Firstly, I'll add the webcam to my canvas. I'll rename scene to my face. While my face is highlighted, I'll go into Sources, click the plus sign and select Video Capture Device. A new window will open up. I'll keep the radio button on Create New and change the title to Brio and click OK. I'll change Resolution slash FPS Type to Custom. Resolution to 3840 by 2160. FPS to Highest FPS. Then click OK. I pull down the corners of the video square and click, hold and drag until I have it completely covering the canvas. Now I'll configure the audio. Click on the settings button. Click on the audio navigation panel. Go to global audio devices, desktop audio and change it to wherever the sound will be going to my ears. I am using a headset, so I select speakers real tech or audio. Head on over to Mic Auxiliary Audio and change that to the mic I am using. Again, I am using a headset, so I chose Speakers Real Tech R Audio. Go to Advanced and Monitoring Device and change that to Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Make sure Disable Windows Audio Ducking checkbox is on. 
then click OK. Now click the Start Virtual Camera button. Configuring Desktop. Go to your Start menu and click on the Volume icon. Make sure Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable is chosen. This will make sure that all of your desktop sounds will go to the virtual cable. Right-click on the volume icon and click on Sounds. Go to the Recordings tab and find Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable and right-click on it. Click on Properties. Go to the Listen tab and check Listen to this device. Change playback through this device to where the sound will go to your ears. I chose speakers Realtek R Audio. Click OK and then OK again. Configuring StreamYard After creating a broadcast, click on the Enter Broadcast Studio button. Click on Cam Slash Mic to enter settings. In the Camera Navigation panel, change the camera to OBS Virtual Camera. In the Audio Navigation panel, change Mic to Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. Change speaker to where you want to hear the sound. I am using my headset, so I select speakers Realtek R Audio. Exit Settings As you can tell, when I speak, the mic indicator goes up and down. You will hear a slight echo, but your listeners will not. When playing any desktop sounds, viewers and myself will be able to hear it. Whatever I hear, they will also listen. Configuring Adobe Premiere Pro and Rush. For Premiere Pro go to Edit, Preferences and Audio Hardware. Change Default Output to Cable Input DB Audio Virtual Cable. Click Yes and then click OK. As you can tell, when the audio goes up and down, so does the mic indicator. I can also hear it as well. For Adobe Premiere Rush, go to Edit, and then Preferences. I make sure that the audio output is set to Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Then click OK. As you can tell again, when the audio goes up and down, so does the mic indicator. I can also hear it as well. Sharing on StreamYard. Click Enter Broadcast Studio. I hover over my face and click Add to Stream. I click the Share button, Share Screen and Share Screen again. Go to the Application Window tab and select the program I want to share and click Share. There might be other programs you'll need to set the audio output as VB Audio Virtual Cable. These are some I know off the top of my head. So this concludes the tutorial. I hope that it helped you out. Please give a like if it did work for you. If it didn't work for you, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out and get it to work. Go ahead and share this with anyone that you think will benefit from this tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.